everyone, my name is Leanne and I am part of the visitor services team at Eureka. Now you may have already seen my first video where I teach you the alphabet using British Sign Language. Don't worry if you haven't, you can go and watch that a little bit later if you like. So right now, a lot of people all around the world are staying inside in order to protect ourselves from becoming poorly. Now, I live alone, so I've been keeping in contact with my friends and family using my phone and my laptop. But you might live with your family, finding lots of fun things to do while we're waiting to go back outside again. So what I thought we could do today is I could teach you some signs to do with your friends, your family and your house. So let's get started. Here we are in my living room and the sign for living room. You're going to take your middle finger of your right hand just like this and brush it across your right shoulder like this and room you're going to take your pointer fingers and draw a square in the air like that living room and in your living room you may have a couch like this one and couch take two fists and place them down and that's a sign for chair as well couch you might have a television so you're gonna finger spell a t and a V. Television. Or you might have a bookshelf. And your bookshelf looks like this. So you're going to place your two hands together and open them up like a book. And then shelf. Looks just like that. So here we are in my dining room and my kitchen. So the sign for dining room, on both hands you're going to take two fingers just like this and mime like you're eating with a knife and fork. So dining. And the sign for room, remember, was taking your pointer fingers and drawing out a square. So dining room. In my dining room I have a table and some chairs and the sign for table, take two flat hands and move them across like this. Table. And remember the sign for chairs was chairs. And in my dining room, I eat and drink all my food. And the sign for eat, take your hand, make it look this place, a bit like a duck. And we're going to move it to your mouth. Eat and drink. So mime like you're holding a glass and drink. Here we are in my bathroom. So apologies if it's a little bit echoey in here. Now the sign for bathroom, you're going to take your two fists just like this and move them behind you. So one next to your head and one just down here and move them back and forth like you're holding onto a towel drying yourself off after a nice warm bath. Bathroom. In your bathroom you'll have a toilet so we're going to finger spell T so with your left hand nice and flat and I'm going to point to it with your right hand and like we did with kitchen just tap twice. Toilet. You'll also have a sink. Remember the sign for sink was this. Sink. And the sign for bath is the same as bathroom so take that towel and dry yourself off. Bath. And last but not least, a shower. So I'm going to take one hand as a fist like this. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my right hand and place it above your head. And move your fingers out like this, like the water is raining down on you. Shower. And finally, we have my bedroom. So the sign for bedroom, you're going to take a C hand shape, just like this, my right hand, and place it up next to your head like this for bedroom. I'm going to draw that square for room. So the sign for bed is just that. Bed and bedroom. In your bedroom you may have a lamp like I have just over here and lamp, I'm using my right hand, you know, make a fist like this and open your fingers up just like that for lamp. I also have an alarm clock as well to wake me up on the morning and alarm clock, take your left hand nice and flat and your right hand is a pointer finger. And it's going to hit against the left hand for alarm and clock. Keep your left hand there and make an L shape with your right hand like this and move it forward like it's a ticking clock. So alarm clock. I also have a wardrobe in my bedroom as well where I keep all my clothes. So wardrobe, you know, move your hands down your body like this, like your clothes and open the cupboard just like this for wardrobe. Now we're going to move on to the friends and family signs. So the sign for friends, you're going to take your two hands and hold them together like this and move them up and down like they're shaking hands. Friends. The sign for family, you're going to finger spell an F and move them around in a circle like this for family. So families come in all different shapes and sizes. So I'm going to show you a few different words and just pick out the ones that you need. So mother, you finger spell an M and tap it twice on the palm of your hand for mother. Father. You're going to finger spell an F and tap it twice for father. 
grandma, you're going to finger spell a g and a m for grandma. And grandfather, you're going to finger spell a g and a f for grandfather. Sister, take your hand just like this in a hook shape and tap it on your nose for sister. And brother, take both hands into fists and press them together and rub them like this for brother. Some families have uh, stepmums and stepdads as well. So to sign those, you finger spell a s and a m for stepmum, or a s and a f for stepfather, a s and sister for stepsister, and a s and brother for stepbrother. Well, that is everything from me today, everyone. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye.